Hi, I'm Sand Recap, and this movie is titled, Gran Turismo. Incredible, inspiring true story of underdogs, a struggling gamer, a failed race car driver, and an idealistic motorsport exec, risking all in the elite sports world. A quarter of a century ago, Kazunori Yamauchi aspired to develop a driving simulation game with the aim of bringing the thrill of racing to a global audience. This vision eventually materialized as the renowned title, Gran Turismo. Residing in Cardiff, Wales, Jan Martinborough is a dedicated enthusiast of the Gran Turismo video game series and has managed to amass sufficient funds to acquire a racing simulator. He shares his home with his parents, Steve and Leslie, along with his brother Kobe. Jan holds a job at a clothing store. Steve, a former football player, remains skeptical about Jan's pursuit of a professional racing career, viewing it as impractical and perilous. In Tokyo, Danny Moore, a marketing professional employed by Nissan, attends a conference. At this event, he presents an idea to potential investors, a competition for Gran Turismo gamers that could offer them an opportunity to become actual racers for Nissan. This initiative also holds the potential to enhance the company's automotive sales. Once the contest proposal receives approval, Danny embarks on a quest to identify seasoned professionals capable of mentoring the aspiring racers. His pursuit, however, is met with a series of rejections, leaving him disheartened. As he exhausts all other options, he eventually finds himself at a crossroads, where his final candidate emerges, Jack Salter, a former racer who has since transitioned into a career as a mechanic. Determined to bring Jack into the fold, Danny presents his innovative concept, but Jack's initial response is a resounding refusal. He expresses deep concerns about the safety implications of placing gamers in genuine race cars, firmly convinced that such a venture could lead to potentially life-threatening outcomes. In a twist of fate, a subsequent encounter finds Jack in a meeting with Nikki Kappa, a rising star in the racing world notorious for his brash and impulsive behavior. Attempting to offer Nikki some valuable advice on maintaining emotional composure during races, Jack's genuine intentions are met with outright disdain. Nikki dismisses him as a washed-up has-been, fueling Jack's frustration. In the wake of this encounter, Jack, having second thoughts, reaches out to Danny. He deliberates the potential impact of taking on the role of an instructor and ultimately decides to move forward with the endeavor, despite the considerable reservations he initially held. Following his visit to a gamer cafe, Jan finds himself in an unexpected turn of events when he receives a message extending an exclusive invitation. This invitation materializes after he passionately engaged with the immersive world of Gran Turismo and his performance therein had been nothing short of extraordinary. The extent of his skill and dedication to the virtual racetrack did not go unnoticed. The message that arrives on Jan's digital doorstep includes a video message from none other than Danny, the mastermind behind this intriguing development. In his video message, Danny unveils a thrilling proposition that ignites Jan's racing ambitions even further. He announces a pioneering initiative, introducing the world to the newly established GT Academy. This groundbreaking program is set to usher in a new era for aspiring racers, offering them an unprecedented opportunity to transition from the digital realm to the genuine racetrack. In this academy, the most accomplished and promising virtual racers will be given the chance of a lifetime, one that many only dream of, the chance to make the leap from pixelated simulations to the high-speed, adrenaline-fueled reality of professional motorsport. Danny's message resonates with Jan and others like him, who suddenly find themselves on the cusp of a remarkable journey where their gaming prowess could potentially transform into a real-life racing career filled with excitement and promise. Kobe later informs Jan that he's heading to an outdoor gathering with his friends. Initially, Jan declines the invitation, but his perspective changes when Kobe reveals that his crush, Audrey, will also be attending. Jan decides to join the gathering, and he strikes up a conversation with Audrey. During their chat, Audrey expresses her desire to explore and travel the world, sharing her adventurous aspirations. The festive atmosphere takes an unexpected turn when the gathering is disrupted by the arrival of the police, prompting the teenagers to disperse and return home. While driving Steve's car back home, one of their friends from the gathering signals to a nearby vehicle to pass them some beer. In an unfortunate turn of events, the two cars inadvertently collide, drawing the attention of law enforcement. Subsequently, the other vehicle is pulled over by the police. In a moment of desperation, Jan decides to hit the gas and drive away, leading to a pursuit by the police. Following a brief chase, Jan manages to shake off the police, but he and Kobe return home with a sense of dismay, only to find Steve waiting for them. Jan finds himself at the rail yard alongside Steve just moments before the commencement of the virtual race. However, 
he decides to depart and hop onto his bicycle, racing against time to reach the cafe for registration. To his credit, Jan manages to arrive promptly and sign in just in the nick of time. Once the race is underway, Jan takes the lead by skillfully employing the techniques he's honed from countless hours of playing the game at home. With determination and precision, he gradually distances himself from the other participants, ultimately crossing the finish line in first place. This victory secures his place in the prestigious academy he aspires to join. As Jan prepares to embark on this new chapter of his journey, Steve, once again, voices his concerns about the dangers involved. However, Jan takes a moment to remind Steve that it was he who, from a young age, instilled in him a profound love for driving and racing. Fueled by this lifelong passion, Jan is resolute in his mission to defy skeptics and prove them wrong as he follows his dreams. Jan arrives at the GT Academy, joining a group of nine other aspiring racers, which includes the self-assured and confident Matty Davis. Their arrival is marked by a somewhat demotivational speech from Jack, who remains skeptical about the whole endeavor and its feasibility. The training sessions kick off with a rigorous regime that combines extensive driving exercises with physical training, pushing the racers to their limits. As the demanding process unfolds, Four of the participants find themselves disqualified, putting Jan in a precarious position, seemingly next in line for elimination. During one of the driving rounds with Jack, an unexpected mishap occurs. Despite Jan's insistence that he applied the brakes, he ends up in an accidental crash. However, a later revelation unravels a surprising twist. It turns out the brakes were indeed faulty, vindicating Jan. In light of this discovery, Jack approaches Jan with a significant update. Another racer has been ousted from the competition, opening the door for Jan to advance to the final race. Overwhelmed with excitement, Jan can't contain his joy and lets out a triumphant yell. The racers prepare themselves for the qualifying race. In a heartfelt tribute to his father, Jan affixes a sticker bearing his father's football team emblem to his helmet. The race kicks off with Jan starting from the back of the pack, but he wastes no time in rapidly advancing toward the front of the field. As he inches closer to Maddie, who maintains the lead, Jan effectively employs tactics derived from his video game experience to maneuver alongside him, resulting in an exhilarating neck-and-neck -neck contest as they approach the finish line. Initially, there is some uncertainty about the victor, with Danny believing that Maddie has emerged triumphant. However, Jack prompts them to review the race footage, which conclusively confirms that Jan has claimed victory by the narrowest of margins. This win propels Jan into more significant racing events, and his fellow competitors, including Maddie, extend their heartfelt congratulations in recognition of his remarkable achievement. Despite his impressive progress, there is one race marred by an unfortunate collision with Nikki, which sends Jan's car careening off course preventing him from completing the race. This setback intensifies the pressure for his final race in Dubai, where Jack lays out the crucial stipulation, Jan must secure at least a fourth-place finish to clinch his much-coveted license. In a race where every turn counts, Jan finds himself in a nail-biting duel with Nikki. However, as Jan maneuvers to surpass the contentious racer, Nikki's reckless aggression propels him into a high-speed collision with another car. The aftermath of the crash sees a tire from Nikki's car hurtling perilously toward Jan's windshield. Miraculously, the tire inflicts minimal damage, allowing Jan to maintain control and secure that essential fourth-place finish, thus clinching his long-anticipated racing license. With his newfound success and triumph, Jan reaches out to Audrey, extending a heartfelt invitation to Tokyo for a momentous occasion. The two embark on an unforgettable day together, which culminates in an evening filled with excitement as they find themselves at a vibrant dance club. It is here, amid the pulsating rhythm of music and the dazzling lights of the club, that they share a poignant and passionate first kiss, sealing their bond in the midst of celebration and achievement. Jan's journey leads him to the renowned Nürburgring track in Germany, a momentous race that captures the attention of an eager audience, including his parents, Steve and Leslie, who are watching the event unfold from the comfort of their home. The anticipation builds as Jan skillfully navigates the track, eventually propelling himself into a remarkable second-place position during the intense race. However, the high-stakes race takes a heart-wrenching turn on the sixth lap. As Jan approaches a treacherous hill, his competitive spirit drives him to push the limits of speed. Tragically, this daring move leads to a harrowing incident, resulting in his car overturning and a catastrophic crash that unfolds before a horrified audience. Jan's ordeal takes another challenging turn as he is swiftly transported to the hospital, where he is accompanied by the steadfast presence of Jack. Once Jan regains consciousness, Danny and Jack, bracing themselves to share the sobering truth, provide an account of the aftermath. In a gut-wrenching revelation, 
they disclose that a spectator at the event had tragically lost their life as a result of the crash. Despite their best efforts to console Jan and stress that the incident was not his fault, the weight of this grim reality sends Jan spiraling into a deep emotional turmoil. Overwhelmed by guilt and anguish, Jan retreats into himself, yearning for solitude. He is unable to muster the strength to engage with his concerned parents, immobilized by the self-imposed blame he bears for the tragic outcome that unfolded on the track. The profound sense of responsibility weighs heavily on his heart, making it difficult for him to face the people who love him most. Once Jan has fully recuperated from his ordeal, Jack arranges a poignant outing, taking Jan for a drive to the very spot where the harrowing crash occurred. It's during this solemn journey that Jack opens up and shares the haunting tale of what brought his own racing career to a tragic halt. He recounts an ill-fated day at the renowned Le Mans track, where he was involved in a catastrophic accident that claimed the life of another driver. This heart-wrenching event marked a turning point in Jack's life, compelling him to relinquish his passion for racing. The profound sorrow and regret he harbors over not realizing his full potential as a racer weigh heavily on him. Jack's deeply personal account serves as a poignant lesson for Jan, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the consequences of allowing fear and regret to dictate one's choices. He imparts a heartfelt message to Jan, expressing his fervent hope that Jan will seize the opportunity before him and not allow the same fate to befall him. With this shared understanding, Jan takes the wheel, symbolizing a transformative moment in their relationship and reinforcing Jack's faith in his protege's abilities. As Jan and Jack move forward in their racing journey, they convene with Danny to discuss a new set of challenges they must face. Danny discloses that rival racing teams are aggressively lobbying to put an end to sim racers' participation in competitive racing, seeking to build cases against them. Despite these daunting obstacles, they remain resolute in their commitment to continue competing. In a display of unwavering determination, they set their sights on the iconic 24-hour race at Le Mans, where they plan to assemble their own Nismo team, comprising not only Jan and Jack but also the inclusion of their fellow GT Academy driver, Antonio Cruz, and the formidable Matty. Together, they prepare to face the adversity that lies ahead and write a new chapter in their racing story. The Le Mans event unfolds as a significant and highly anticipated moment in Jan's racing journey. On this momentous occasion, Jan is not alone. He is surrounded by a supportive entourage that includes his family, Audrey, and a group of fellow GT Academy drivers who have come to rally behind him. The presence of his loved ones and fellow racers adds a layer of camaraderie and encouragement to the electrifying atmosphere. Amid the pre-race preparations, a heartening and poignant moment transpires as Steve, Jan's father, visits him before the race. In a heartfelt exchange, Steve takes the opportunity to express his profound regret for not providing the support that Jan needed earlier in his racing endeavors. It's a moment of reconciliation, where father and son share their emotions and clear the air, forging a renewed sense of connection. The race gets underway with Jan, Maddie, and Antonio assuming their roles in a strategic rotation, taking turns behind the wheel. As the action unfolds on the track, the intensity of competition becomes palpable. A harrowing incident unfolds as a rival driver experiences a fiery crash, a moment that sends shockwaves through the spectators and participants alike. Thankfully, the driver emerges from the wreckage, miraculously unscathed, a testament to the safety measures in place. As Jan gears up to take the wheel during his designated stint, he grapples with a moment of vulnerability, losing focus as the memory of the recent crash haunts his thoughts. It's during this challenging juncture that Jack, Jan's mentor and source of unwavering support, steps in. Employing a unique strategy to rekindle Jan's concentration, Jack provides an auditory backdrop by playing soothing music, the melodies of Kenny G and Enya. These calming sounds serve as an anchor, guiding Jan back to a state of focus and determination, allowing him to regain his mental fortitude and push through the mental barriers that threaten to derail his performance. In this pivotal moment, Jan's mind becomes a treasure trove of memories from countless virtual laps he's completed on the Le Mans track in video games. He reflects on his unique racing style, honed through countless hours of gameplay, where he developed strategies to outpace fellow competitors. Drawing from these mental reserves, Jan executes his signature approach, gradually closing the gap between himself and Nikki. In a breathtaking climax, the two rivals engage in an epic showdown, racing neck and neck toward the elusive finish line. The intensity of their competition is palpable, and the roaring engines resonate through the racetrack as they push their limits. In the culmination of this fierce contest, Jan sees his victory, crossing the finish line ahead of Nikki much to the jubilation of his entire team and his loving family. The closing narrative underscores the profound impact of Jan Martinborough and Team Nissan's historic triumph at Le Mans, 
a victory that forever altered the landscape of motorsports. The aftermath of this significant victory unfolds with a cinematic flourish, underscoring Jan's continued dedication as he has participated in an impressive tally of over 200 races. Remarkably, Jan even portrayed his own stunt double in this very film, a testament to the authenticity of his journey. To conclude, a visual journey unfolds, presenting images of the real Jan Martinborough and his family side by side with their cinematic counterparts, highlighting the remarkable intersection of real-life achievements and the cinematic depiction of his awe-inspiring story.